Hi, it's me again. In 2006, I had a follow-up appointment with a new doctor at the practice that I hadn't seen before. He told me he'd just joined the surgery and was taking on the lead role in diabetes care. We had a discussion about my current blood test results. He was concerned that my HbA1c had gone up and thought we should do something about it. I explained that I was struggling a bit with my diet, doing less activity than previously, no longer cycling to work. He suggested I look at my lifestyle and made some changes to my prescription. He increased my glycolazide to two tablets twice a day. I remember he was very happy with my cholesterol levels, but was worried about my blood pressure. He said the dose of the remipril should have been increased and would get the nurse to look at building the dose up to 10 milligrams over the next few weeks. It was quite a short consultation, but he seemed to know what he was doing. Over the next few months, I had regular visits and blood tests with the practice nurse, who followed his instructions and increased the dose of my blood pressure tablets. As time went by, life just got busier and busier. I was working long hours to help with getting my two children through university. I gradually found myself losing my get up and go and had a few funny turns every so often. I was putting on weight and found myself eating more than usual. My wife became increasingly worried and made me go to the doctors for a checkup. They did the usual checks and didn't find anything wrong initially. However, the problems persisted, and after some persuasion, they eventually agreed to give me some blood sugar testing strips and asked me to test at different times of the day. It soon became clear that I was having low blood sugars. Luckily, I never passed out or needed help from anyone. In retrospect, I guess it was obvious. But at the time, I just didn't make the connection between my symptoms and low blood sugars. Mind you, neither did the doctor. They reduced my glycolazide and eventually stopped it in 2007. They monitored my HbA1c and after stopping the tablets, noticed it was climbing again. So after some consideration, they recommended I start a new tablet that would help control my HbA1c without causing low blood sugar. I needed some convincing, but in 2008, I started a new tablet. I think you said it's a DPP-4. I was followed up on a regular basis. Things settled down with regards to my blood sugar control. However, I really struggled to lose weight. Shortly after these problems, things became increasingly difficult between me and my wife, and we ended up getting divorced in 2009.